This happens to 42% of the printers we tested, and almost all have some printing issue. 3D printers have a problem, let me show you what I've learned. A while back I asked you, my awesome followers, to print these models and report back your findings. And we've got 64 submissions, wow, thanks for helping. I went ahead and extracted some information here, which shows that 97% of the printers have some printing issue. I've only got two reports of perfect prints, but there are no accompanying photos as proof, so I don't know how they really look like. We're looking at printers that are functional, somewhat calibrated, that already make decent prints. The main problem is this wood-like texture showing up in 42% of the cases. 3D printer inconsistent extrusion problems? Some call it something else? Whatever the name, it makes ugly prints. I made this special model, which is just flat faces, but comes out with a wood grain pattern. Only you don't normally encounter it like this. You encounter it perhaps like this, or like this, or one of these. Or one of these. And they're all just this, only zoomed in at certain heights. These all have the same underlying problem. They were showing up on my Prusa printers and I wanted to see how widespread it is. 27 cases of wood-like pattern, out of which 15 come from a Mark II, 2.5 or 3S printer, so more than half. Here are some examples people submitted. These came from Prusa Mark III S with stock extruders. The surface is supposed to come out perfectly flat, obviously. No wonder there's a huge discussion on Git on this issue, which is closed. But there are still 12 cases that are not Prusa printers, and I've got some photos the testers provided. This one is from an SK Go, which is a Core XY printer. This is from a Bontek extruder. And this is an E3D Hamera with clipper. However, all the cases with this pattern use direct drive dual gear extruders, which confirms my prediction. I'll explain why that is in my next video, but I also show what I've done to remedy it for my printers. Here I'll dive deeper into how I did my investigation, which will hopefully help you with your own experiments. Because there are other patterns as well, even if this wasn't the case, almost everyone had some problem. 19% of the tests show horizontal lines that grow further apart, which usually comes from bad bad PID tuning. As a side note, Marlin's auto-tune feature doesn't work well, which was the case when I tried to calibrate my Sidewinder X1 for example, which got me this print. The lines are so pronounced that they mask any other pattern, so it's likely that some are actually hiding even more underlying wood grain patterns. Next, there's the perfectly vertical lines, showing up in 22% of the cases. These often come from the drive system, belts, pulleys and bearings. After that, there are the intertwined waves, which are very subtle, so if you had any of the previous issues, it's likely that you won't be able to tell this one apart. There are, of course, many other issues that can show up in 3D printing, these are just a few. But what do these mean in the real world? Like some of you noticed, printing at high speeds tends to smooth out some of these patterns, especially the latter one. If you have a Bowden setup, the filament in the tube does the smoothing for you, so in that sense a Bowden setup is less prone to these particular issues, although it acting a bit like a spring is more prone to other problems. Figuring out these problems took some trial and error, which I want to briefly go through, because I tried a lot of things. Most of my prints look great. But then I got to this model, which got me very frustrated with these diagonals. I tried all sorts of theories I read about online, where people claim to have fixed issues. Vertical shapes, cubes and domes none make any sense to me for identifying extruder issues. So eventually I made this simple shape. On my modified original Prussian Mark dresses, which are relatively good printers, all original parts initially, with bare frame and custom extruder, I got this wood grain pattern. Same happens for stock Mark III's with stock extruder, just to be clear. Tested on the Sidewinder, no pattern here, so I left that alone and went back to my Prusas. I was using a reverse Bowden to my dry box, so I removed that and moved the spool closer to the printer to avoid any friction. I tried different shape variations, placed them in different locations on the bed, rotated them, different materials, higher and lower temperatures, higher speeds, lower speeds, even tried the speed gradient. 
changed belt tension, replaced idlers, upgraded to Misumi bearings, even tried dry run bearings and varied their compression because I can do that, turned off bed heating, disabled mesh leveling, went to the grub screw, looser, tighter, even more tight, tried vase mode, then 2 and then 3 perimeters, larger nozzle, thicker layers, I tried with a stock motor, with a geared motor, no change anywhere. Then I replaced all steppers with larger 0.9 degree ones, which should run smoother. Went to the board, switched to a 32-bit SKR, upgraded to TMC 2209s from TMC 2130s. I pretty much replaced almost the entire printer at this point. I moved to Vanilla Marlin, started messing up with the firmware and driver settings, stealth chop, spread cycle, changed micro stepping from 4 all the way down to 64, turned interpolation on and off, tried various motor currents, chopper timings, and I mixed and matched all these changes in various ways, just in case they would combine and somehow affect what got printed. And the pattern was still there. So you see, theories online with no proof. Where are the engineers, man? Who investigate and analyze the facts before speaking on the internet? Just something to remember that things you read online are often not useful, which is why I test everything myself. Oh, don't forget to boop the like button if you're getting something useful out of this video. Anyway, statistically, your printer has some of these problems. You can print these patterns if you're curious to see which issues yours has. Unless you think your printer is perfect, in which case it's important that you don't print this or you risk getting confused. These two are usually enough, but if they're inconclusive, try more sizes and shapes and make sure to follow the instructions. I put a link in the description. Let me know how it went and remember that your printer loves ya, despite the wood grain. I did briefly show a rough trade-off before, where you get rid of this pattern by turning the extruder into a single gear extruder basically. In the next video I'll explain how I identified and worked around this wood grain pattern while preserving the dual gear design. It's a patch, but it's something that we can do if your extruder is 3D printed. I'll link it somewhere on the screen once it's published or in the video description. Oh, and I just started a Patreon page. Check it out if you'd like to support my work, it's pretty cool. Either way, till next time, be awesome!